Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in this video, we will going to continue with the previous topic that is the web chat. So in the first video, we have seen that how we can set up the chat with customer in our service setup or in our service console. And now we will continue with the same. And today we will see how we can make our agents live or how we can make them enable so that they can get the request from the customer live and can accept and make conversation with them at the same time or at the real time and we see how we can make the changes in the branding and we can add logos different avatar and the font size to our chat console so we will discuss everything in this video so let's start with the video so here currently we are in the service console now let's move to the service setup and from here we will going to open our embedded service so this is the service which we have created in the last video so those who want to know how to create this can uh, go through the last video so here is the chat agent this is the service which we have created earlier now on option edit you will get the option to change the name and the side endpoint so this is the force.com site which we have created earlier so now let's save this we don't want to change anything here so now in the view option you will get more options to make the changes like in the chat setting and in the branding and then the embedded code so this will give you the different updated code after making all the changes so in the branding if you see you will get the option to change the colors of header the chat and you will get uh, get the option to select the font so now let's search for the salesforce sans okay here it is and let's change the different color code or let's uh, have put the different color code for the header so as we will get to know how the color changes okay now let's finish this so now if we go to the chat setting then you will see other different options like pre-chat page additional branding and the uh, offline support etc so here pre-chat page is something which we will going to discuss in the next video so it is a form which you will give to your uh, customers before connecting with them so for now currently let's uh, turn off this and the offline support is something whenever your agent is on lunch or on a holiday or on a break then you can ask them for the for the details so that on the back end it will log a case in the salesforce so now if i move to the additional branding here you will see that you have the option to add the logo to add the avatar that is the image of your agent so for this we need to add the link here so we will going to upload the images in our static resource and from there we will get the link which we will going to paste over here so now let's add a uh, image for our customer agent or uh, for our agent in the static resource So the image is uploaded and here is the link. Let's copy this and paste over there. So now here we have the options to change the dimension, to change the font size. So if you want to change, uh, you can do. So till now we have made the normal changes like the font size, the color of header and uploaded the image. So now let's change the changes, uh, check the changes in our um, on our site so here let's open this so here as you can see the color of header is changed and here we are currently getting the offline support so now let's come back to the salesforce and here in the service console we will going to set up the live agent or we will going to make the changes uh, or we will going to make the agent status available so here is the omni channel which will be by default present on your utility bar if not then you can add from this uh, app manager then to the service console there and now here i have made the agent status available now if i refresh this site then you will able to see you can connect to the agent here it is sending the request on the omni channel that the customer is waiting for the agent so here as you can see here 
it uh, this type of request will come from here the user or the agent will going to select this and provide the support to our customer so on selecting this a conversation window or a chat window will open like this so from here you can exchange messages so from the customer side i am writing hello so i have sended the message from the customer side as a customer and then in the salesforce or in the service console you can see my messages came successfully now here a agent will reply to the customer and the conversation go on so here as you can see this is the image which we have uploaded and the link pasted in the branding option so this is how we can connect or a customer can can connect and send request to the live agent and if it is he, uh, if a uh, agent is available he will going to accept and start chatting so now let's end this chat from here so now the chat is ended from the agent side so this is the scenario when my agent is available now let's check for the next scenario if the agent is on break or, or uh, is not available like the different option we have then what happens so now currently i'm making it uh, on break so let's refresh this and here if i open this you will get the offline support if you remember we have enabled the offline support in our embedded service so whenever the agent is not available or is on break on leave or something else it will going to provide you the offline support by selecting the dif uh, by uh, getting the different values from the agent uh, from the customers and on back end it will create the case for sale so both the scenarios which we have discussed currently we are having only one agent active so normally what happens we create the queue in which number of users were added and on the basis of priority and on basis of some criteria they will assign with the customer request so we will discuss this also in the upcoming videos how we can handle this on basis of apex code and on basis of ui so we'll discuss in upcoming videos and side by side we have also completed our trailhead module this second one let's check for this so yeah it is completed with 500 points